friends, it's Shan here. Welcome or welcome back to Golf with Shan. I am in Hua Hin, Thailand and I am so excited to be here. Here in Thailand, it is 31 degrees and sunny every single day. It's fabulous. If you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Shan and I make golf and travel videos. On this channel, we've actually been to Thailand a few times. We've played golf courses in Phuket, Pattaya, and Bangkok, and I will have a whole playlist of all those golf courses if you're interested. But this time around, we are in Hua Hin and we will be playing a few of the golf courses here. I typically make an 18-hole vlog outlining every single hole in the golf courses, how much they cost, and just anything I think you should know. So make sure to subscribe if you are interested in those videos. This video is going to be a vlog of my time here in Hua Hin. I'm going to tell you all about the hotel, things that we did here, and if I would recommend it for you on your next golf trip to Thailand. So let's get started. First off, we just got here to Hua Hin. How I got here was we flew from Toronto to Bangkok. So Bangkok is the main city. That is where you're going to fly into. And then from Bangkok, we rented a car, and it's just over a three-hour drive from Bangkok to our hotel to Hua Hin in general. And then you can take the tow route to save about half an hour um, and the tow is like 45 baht so it's pretty much nothing. If you don't take the tow route it'll be a little longer drive. Alright so first off let me show you the hotel room. We are currently at the Maven Stylish Hotel in Hua Hin. It's a very small boutique hotel with a pool downstairs. They have the nice beach chairs and it will be in the shade so you can push the chairs out if you want to sunbathe a bit, but you can also just chill downstairs. It's a really cool place. They do have a fitness center here and then the price that we paid we also got breakfast included and that's a buffet. So I'll show you that tomorrow morning when I actually go eat breakfast. Since it's our first day here, we just finished our 20 plus hour flight plus three hour drive and we just checked into the hotel. So took a shower. It's gonna be a relaxing run some errands kind of day. We have to go get a SIM card, exchange money, and go to 7-Eleven to get some snacks and water for our golf rounds. These are like the three checklist things that we have to do every time we come to Thailand. Seven Eleven haul. We just got back. Got some shampoo and conditioner. One thing to note: the hotel shampoo. It's a two-in-one, and it's really not great for my hair, as you can see right now. So, starting today, we got some Pantene, which is pretty generic. And then I got this bug spray. I don't know. Mosquitoes love me, so I need to get a repellent. And apparently, this one's quite good. We'll see. And then we also got one of these juice things. It's really yummy. I think it's mostly sugar, but it tastes good. And every time I go to 7-Eleven in Thailand, I have to get myself cheese-filled sausages because they're just delicious. 
Hello, just woke up from a nap. Jet lag hits hard on the first day because it's a 12 hour time difference. So like three, four in the afternoon here is actually three, four in the morning back home. We're about to have some dinner. We just ordered grab because too tired to go outside. So let me show you what we have for dinner. It is 6.15 a.m. but we woke up pretty early because of jet lag so right now we're gonna go get some breakfast. Today is actually a golf day and we're playing Palm Hill. I believe it's one of the easier courses that we've booked because both of us have not been on a golf course in a few months so we will see how it goes but I'm excited to be here in Thailand and to go out onto a golf course. So yeah, let's go and get some breakfast. I will be making a video on the golf course specifically with every single hole so I'll just include a few clips for the vlog. Just got back from the golf course and showered. Excuse the line on my forehead. This is from my golf hat, so let's just not look at that. Um, we're about to go get some lunch. There's not that much to do other than eat and golf and relax. It was a tough day on the golf course, but I had a lot of fun. That's kind of like when you play a new golf course for the first time and also for the first time in the winter. You're not really used to the grounds. The bunkers are a different, you know, texture. The greens are a different speed. The brakes are different. The grass is different. It's all just different, but it's a lot of fun. if you guys can hear me because it's really windy but all together it was exactly 880 baht so the fish was 500 and then we got some drinks so pretty good Good morning, another morning here in Hua Hin, Thailand. It is currently 7 a.m. It's still quite early, the sun is coming up. We're just both a little bit jet lagged, so we still take a two hour nap in the afternoon and then wake up super early. Today, we are going to go get some breakfast. We're gonna go to the gym because it's still important to stay healthy and work out. And then we're gonna go check out the mall in Hua Hin. Uh, malls are usually really nice here in Thailand. So I'm interested to see what the market village here in Hua Hin will be like. Let's get ready and let's go get some food. Mm -hmm. 
Just got ready, about to head out. It feels great to get a quick workout in. First impressions of walking, I think it's a really cool, relaxed town. It's definitely a great place where a lot of people come just for golf. And it seems a lot of the people that live here have retired. And that makes total sense. I mean, goals to retire in a beautiful place like this. For me, it's a little bit too laid back. There's not too much to do. There are a lot of good food restaurants, even Western restaurants. Like we walk past two steakhouses within 100 meters of our hotel. So there's definitely options for Italian food, for burgers, for steak, if, if you're into that. And then obviously there's a lot of street vendors and smaller Thai restaurants if you want to get that authentic Thai food. So food is obviously a check, no problems there. But aside from that, there's not too much to do. There is a night market that we will check out later in this video. Basically, my first impressions is it's a great relaxing place to come and play some golf. Check out the fit. <laughs> oh, there's the Marriott. bigger in here than we expected. It kind of expands so there's all the typical American stores actually. And then you have a grocery store in here and then there's a street food market area downstairs. So we're gonna go check that out. Oh so here's the grocery store. This is also massive downstairs. There seems to be like an outlet area. There's all the food vendors too, but there's like all these outlet clothing, jewelry, really cheap stuff they're selling. literally buy anything here your entire life you can decorate your apartment get some food buy clothes buy electronics upstairs move to walking come here and then you're all set it is giving Willy Wonka vibes you have to try this I'm not even joking this is delicious and I'm not even a sweet tooth person I prefer salty snacks in general but this is so good back from the chocolate factory it was so delicious highly recommend definitely check it out if you are coming to Joaquin the inside is a really cool kind of modern barn design and they have really comfortable seating it looks like people just go order some drinks order some delicious chocolate desserts and just chill for a few hours it's a cool hangout spot basically they do have a few locations across Thailand including two in Pattaya which I didn't know that's gonna be it for today I'm just gonna relax and log on for work later tomorrow really early in the morning tomorrow is a golf day we are playing Black Mountain. This is a golf course that I'm so excited for. People have actually suggested it in my comments. Thailand, we love you, but you are a pain in the ass. It is currently 2 a.m. and I feel okay. I'm just tired, but he's been puking 
Um, basically, he got food poisoning, and it's kind of started at midnight, and it's been going on for a few hours now. I feel so bad. I think the culprit is the lunch noodles. Be careful if you're coming to Thailand. Don't be scared. We've been, we've both been to Asia many times, and most of the time, there's no issues. You might have some diarrhea for a couple days, but it's, it's not a big deal. The vomiting is when you may have really ingested something bad. And if it continues for a long time, then obviously go to the clinic or go to a hospital. We do have a tea time tomorrow morning at, actually today, because it's 2 a.m. We have a tea time in about five hours at 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. Um, we'll see if we make it. If we do, I will film a video on the golf course. I can't promise how I will play but I am excited to see this golf course. So we'll see how we feel in a few hours. Um, mostly him. We'll see how he feels in a few hours. I'm gonna get ready for golf because I'm actually excited to see this golf course, even though didn't get too much uh, sleep and he maybe will just ride in the cart and play a few holes. <laughs> golf he is passed out straight to bed um, I'm gonna go to 7-eleven try to get some plain crackers or something for him and then get a few more water things and I'll probably order room service for lunch because I'm also really tired <laughs> Saturday, we both slept pretty much all day yesterday after golf, came back, fell asleep. And then I woke up for dinner and got some work done and then went back to sleep and slept all the way until 7 a.m. Then that's where we're at now, 7.30. About to go get some breakfast today. We are actually gonna go explore Huahin a little bit more. We have arrived at An Bodhi Forest Park. Let's hope I pronounced that correctly. Tell me you've been on a Chinese tour bus without telling me. <laughs> Our selfie stick! Alright, we're trying to find the walk, the boardwalk. Because this is the beach right there. And it looks very empty. So if you want to go to a beach that's not super crowded, like all the hotel ones, maybe come to one of these more deserted places. We did rent a car. I would probably recommend that actually. The places here are pretty dispersed. It's not like Bangkok. You're not gonna get public transit to all these places. There's like one child screaming. There's no one else here actually. <laughs> stupid like this but it is 36 degrees and boiling hot outside it's worth it <laughs> also this is a really cool little trail you guys will see more in a second bring bug spray whenever you are in the wilderness surrounded by this bring bug spray i love how they just dig a hole to the walking place for the tree to grow through He's hanging in there. In case anyone's curious, for if you get travelers diarrhea or food poisoning, basically get a lot of electrolytes. Um, we went to 7-Eleven and got a carbon pill because that's what people online say helps. So he took one of those, not too much because you want your body to just naturally flush out everything. Yeah, that's what's happening. That is creepy looking. I don't know why that looks really eerie. We just walked past a little terrace 
and there was like a group of locals there. They were screaming something, but what we read online is that they'll try to essentially scam you with tour and charge you a lot of money, and you don't need that. Just keep walking. All right, we have entered an area with more green and less of those creepy roots. This is a good sign. I think we're coming out into the open. Be very careful going down these stairs. They're a little bit old and crickety. And we're out. So it is a full circle. You just keep going and then you end up where you came in from. That was actually a really nice walk. Also because it was shaded, it was actually really cool. Whereas when you're walking just on the open road, it is boiling hot. <laughs> you know you're in Asia when every single car has backed in. <laughs> okay, so dinner is here. Um, I got a clear tom yum soup and we ordered chicken, at least that's what the English translation was, and I got pork ribs. Um, good thing is, I love pork ribs, but it is not chicken. <laughs> mm. I love tom yum soup. It's so spicy though, but so good. Good morning, it's another golf day here in Huahian. Today is our third round of golf. We're going to Springfield Golf Club and we're teeing off at 10.30 a.m. It's a little bit later than we've been teeing up, which means the back night is probably gonna be smoking hot, but it's all good. We're gonna go get some breakfast first and then we'll try to head out to the golf course a bit early today to actually get some practice in. Cause the past few rounds, we didn't really get practice in. It was at like 7 a.m. And by the time we got there, we were already in line for the first tee. loud out also once the sun sets it's actually really cool it's like 26 degrees I'm wearing a light long sleeve and I'm totally fine the reason I'm wearing a long sleeve is for mosquitoes but also it does cool down and I'm wearing like This food is really good. As long as I wake up tomorrow and I don't have an upset stomach, I will let you guys know what this restaurant's name is. And if you're in the area, go get takeout from them. Or actually, go and sit on the street if you're not afraid of mosquitoes. But for us, we got takeout and or takeaway. Hi, buddy.
good morning because it's still morning. I forgot to film an intro because it was way too early and we were rushing to the golf course. We just finished at Banyan Golf Club. This was our favorite golf course here in Huaquin. So if you're going to play a golf course, play this one. We are just heading out from the golf course grounds. This is such a beautiful golf course. Come here, tee up really early so you get that nice sunrise, 24 degree temperature. It's beautiful. Right now it's starting to get a little too hot. There are so many adorable little dogs on this golf course. It's it's so cute. And they're they're not dangerous. They kind of just they will approach you. Like they'll just run up around you or in front of your ball. And then they'll run over to the shade and they'll sit down and watch you. That's pretty much it. They come down from the mountains and then somebody feeds them. I hope some of them were looking a little bit skinny, but I didn't want to give them any food because I don't think you should feed the animals. There are people that feed them what they're supposed to eat, you know? We don't want them to get that food poisoning thing that you got. <laughs> All right, we are driving out. We're gonna go look for some lunch, do a little more exploring of Wakin, and then in a couple days, we are heading, driving back to Bangkok. Laundry time. Pro tip, bring a couple of these reusable big bags. This is one from like a grocery store. And basically you can put your dirty laundry in there and then we're gonna take it to a laundry place. It's pretty cheap for them to just wash it and fold it for you. You can pack it pretty light. Because I do bring my golf bag, I actually bring most of my clothes in a carry-on suitcase and then I put like a heavier sweater or something in my golf bag. Laundry is definitely a must given how much we sweat on the golf course and just being outside. Big boom laundry! Dropped off our laundry. It was 90 baht per kilo. Finished with lunch. I'm still holding our laundry bags and it's going to be great as a fan. Lunch was excellent. 10 out of 10 recommend this restaurant. Everything is freshly made. You do have to wait a little bit. It gets quite busy. You can request less spicy if that's what you want. The flavors are great. They have like a semi-outdoor kitchen so they can have the fires going up. That's what you want in Asian food. If there can't be fire with the wok, it's probably not that good. We're walking to the mall right now because I really want a bubble tea. Off to see the night market. So the night market opens at six every day and it doesn't really get going until seven. So we're going at about 7 p.m. right now. got a mango sticky rice for 50 baht and my blueberry tea for 30 baht. Last day in Huaqin, I'm gonna go chill by the pool. We haven't actually just chilled by the pool, so that's what we're gonna go do. Tomorrow morning, we have to get up so early to drive to Bangkok.
to our next destination. For anyone who's curious, okay, come early to the Bangkok airport because security check takes a long time, exit immigration takes even longer. We actually didn't know that if you have a Canadian passport, a lot of my viewers are probably Canadian, so if you have a Canadian passport, you can actually take the express lane out of the exit immigration, so you don't have to wait in that line. We waited in that line for like half an hour until we realized now we're running to the gate.